Hello friends, again this is Rebecca Monnier and you are listening to the Nollywood Spotlight Show on Nollywood Radio Friends. And as always with me, I have Ciprin Jassam. Ciprin, tell the audience where you're located. Yeah, Rebecca, thank you very much. Hello everyone, I'm your host Ciprin Jassam. So I live in France and um, like I used to say every time in this um, program, we live um, uh, in two different cities and in two continents. So uh, Rebecca Monier is talking from Houston, Texas and I'm in a little town called Shark. So Rebecca, today we have um, a movie review. Is that so? Yeah. Okay. So the movie we're going to review uh, is called The Naughty Doctor. Correct. <laughs> so okay. yeah, the, the movie is uh, directed by Amechi Ikeche. So this, so the film tells the story of rape, corruption, blackmail, and how the judicial system works in a place. So, um, for me, uh, Nothing Doctor begins with the gynecologist Dr. Jerry, played by Majid uh, Michel, to Serena, one of the pregnant women, and the wife of uh, Chief Walter, played by Mercy Johnson. Then comes Chief Walter, who sold his soul to the devil for money played by Livinus Nietzsche. Another charming, yeah, another charming character is Barrister Emeka, mm-hmm. played by Yolo the Dodge. He's a remarkable character, and his powerful deep bass uh, voice will always captivate the attention of the viewer. Then we have the brilliant barrister Desmond, played by Paul Sambo, and two more characters who struck a chord in this movie We are Joy Iguru, the welfare judge, and Neo Ewezi, who played Lord Tunga, the soothsayer. No doubt, the film has a quality cast. The characters were are well drawn. So, uh, Rebecca, what can you add to what I've just said? Wow, uh, Super, you're really excited about this movie. I take it you actually watched all four parts. I did. I did. Now, <laughs> I did. Now, talking about that, talking about watching the four parts, um, you know, I have problems with uh, uh, for part one, part two, and part three, part four, even to part five movies in Nollywood movies. So I don't like this part. So this is just, I think it's uh, it's for local consumption. This is the way I say it. But I want you to add something before I go ahead. Uh, it's not bad. It's, it, it's better than the first one I watched. But that does not mean that I'm going to give away five stars to the movie. But uh, we are just starting the review. Go ahead. Right, okay, so well, let me go ahead and, and start with the synopsis. So it says, psychopathic gynecologist in the habit of having sexual intercourse with his patients before carrying out the actual tests required of him. A plan has been set in motion and his barbaric act has been caught on tape. And this gets him a court case. But this intelligent doctor is not ready to go down without a fight. A suspense, intriguing movie with several twists and turns. And they were absolutely right. There were several twists. I mean, for a Nollywood movie, this film did have a lot of twists and turns. Yeah, a lot of twists and turns. Um, I'm going to say I like the movie because the storyline is open to debate. Yeah, that's right. that's that's one point. Now, why is it open to debate? It questions the the notion of good and bad. Right. I think that's number one. And then, how can you render justice in a corrupt land? Exactly. Uh, so, in the movie, we can see that Doctor Jerry was sent to, sent to prison. Right. They say, and uh, Chief Walter was punished by divine powers, probably the handwork of Lord Tonga. On the other hand, the idea to edit the movie in four parts is senseless because mm-hmm. this story could have been told in part one, part two, or even in part one. Right. So it's too long. That's 
that's the problem. And did you did you um, understand where the action of the movie is set? Did you did you find out that? Honestly, um, part one and part two just seemed like someone saying the exact same thing in different ways yeah. to me. Yeah. I think it really got interesting when Mercy Johnson came in, which I believe was almost at the end of part two. Yeah. Um, that was when she came in, she, her brother, and her, her mother. And you really got to see... Um, how men in Nigeria take advantage um, of a lot of situation and circumstances dealing with the poor. Um, you got to see how um, a family has to force their children to get married just so they can eat and send the, the other rest of the children to school, which I thought was just horrible. I, I, I you know, it's it was really hard for me to see that, you know, and, and I, I was touched by that story because it's, it's the truth, you know, people in, in horrible circumstances and situations are looking for a savior, and at the end of the day, they end up selling their own child in exchange for that, you know, in exchange for a better situation or a better circumstance, um, but in the end, um, it kind of worked out in a way that was predictable because um, you know how Satan works. He never gives you an opportunity to win. Yeah. If you actually make it out alive, then it definitely wasn't Satan who gave you what you had. You mm, know? Mm, mm. So he went to Satan for, for prosperity and he got it, but it was the price of his own life. You know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, like what you said, Rebecca, um, trying to help someone uh, that at a period when the person is emotionally weak okay right. that's we we can understand when you're fragile you send uh, you you have no hope for the future right. now that was right. how chief walter came in into uh, exactly. serena and the uh, uh, and the mother's life so mm -hmm. that's that scene touched me somehow because it i knew too. i knew that there'll be a price to pay. But I didn't know that it could come to that extent. To that extent? Yes. In the way that it happened. Yes. I yes. mean, yes. the twist in the film yes. was yes. fantastic. Yes. So let's yes. talk about a face that, um, that is not seen all the time, but definitely made a very loud statement in this film. Um, Sambo. Oh, yes. Wow. Sambo was awesome. 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 Yes. Awesome. His face was perfect. It, I mean, he had a great personality. I mean, the, the character just fit him to the Yeah, he's a. That's, that's not normally known. Very convincing. I mean, he, right. he, he, he's a very convincing character, and he played that role uh, superbly well. Honestly. I'm sorry. Yes. I, I honestly. Yes. To be unfortunately, yes, Majid yes, Michelle, you yes. got competition, bro. Yes, uh, yes, yes. Sambo yes. did that. Yes. You know, I, th I personally, I think Sambo actually made Majid Michelle look good. You know, he made him look like a real criminal. You know, I mean, there were some technical, you know, technical uh, issues with the film. Um, there were some parts where I saw the mic. There were some parts where I saw some stage light in the background, <laughs> but you know that's 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 stuff that I'm gonna see because I'm in the industry and I'm like ah come on you know. But this they touched very lightly on a very very important situation. Yes, um, yes, 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 yes. Which is the issue with HIV. I didn't like the way they just kind of mildly touched on that at the end. Um, where okay so in this scene the character uh dr jerry played by majid michelle um slept with the character frank franca um and franca had hiv and she didn't use protection but slept with dr jerry so there's a possibility that dr jerry has hiv yeah, but no. uh, uh, sorry Go to ahead. interject, Rebecca. I, I don't think they can bring in so many issues into the movie because already we have a message. Uh, the great message in the movie is rape. 
that right. yeah that is dr jerry raping all the women in period in yeah so right. now bringing in the issue again of hiv don't you think that should have been too much for for the well, viewers i think the hiv issue itself is 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 a very serious yes situation. yes you maybe. Know? It, it, i just i i think really what i'm saying is it was kind of mentioned in a very light way you know okay. like so what I infected you with HIV, so what? End of story. Oh, you know? yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, it yeah. wasn't emotional. The doctor didn't cry. The doctor didn't, you know, feel like, oh my gosh, my life is lost. You know, none of that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which is very, very important because then, yes, yes. at the end of the day, when you and I go home, we forget that he, he was infected with HIV. Yes. But yes. if he made a big deal about it, mm. then we may think that oh, maybe he he w later on went and got tested and was infected. But but you know do, do, do you know what I was thinking as I was watching that scene you know that mm -hmm. part I said okay Dr Jerry has uh, has been very um, he he is very powerful uh, in mm -hmm. terms of blackmailing everybody he's got something mm -hmm. to 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 tell you about your life and then when Franka came in to say yes uh, I have HIV he said oh but I slept with you and uh, you didn't tell me that means I was thinking to, uh, in, in my mind I was a little bit happy I said oh look at this tough guy uh, he has right. been punished he has been punished but right. not knowing that the punishment will come from he's going to prison so he, he, he was double he, 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 um, he had two punishments one I think the viewers will understand quickly, but what you said was not well developed. Right. So, so that we can know that Dr. Jerry had HIV, right. or, or right. even could but have gone. Really did get it. Or even could have gone to another doctor for a test. Right. You see. Right. Immediately. Right? Immediately, you see. Exactly. You see? It definitely is a run-on film. Um, it's like a run-on sentence. Um, a lot of the key points that happened in, in in part three and four, I think, should have been moved up to one and two. Yeah. You know, to really make it beefy and juicy and yeah. just yeah. digestible. You know, um, I do. I did feel that it was it was it, it was just too long. It was just. It was too long. It was too long. Yeah. Hey, in I, America, who has five hours? Oh my God. To film? Come on, like we have work to do. <laughs> we, we we have all things in our lives yeah. that we have to do. When you go to the movies, you are in there tight. Unless it's like a major major film like Lord of the Rings or Harry Potter, where yeah. a lot of money, a lot of work is put into it. There's so many things to keep your attention. You already know about the story. Mm. You're already involved with, with the story. Mm. Mm. I mean, a normal film is 120 minutes, which is like yeah. an hour. Yeah, that's it. That's it. You're done in an hour and you, you're going about your business. That's about it. So, I mean, five hours is a long time. I definitely, that entire film, or should I say eulogy, um, <laughs> is for the African audience. Yeah, I said it. I want to mm. see part mm. one, part two, part three, part four, part no. five, part six, you know, just continue us on the exact same thing. Mm. Mm. Um, definitely not for an European audience. No, no. So, Rebecca, how are we going to rate this movie now? Well, as usual, I did several sections um, mm. that I rated. I have picture quality. I'll give it an excellent. What do you think? Mm, go ahead, go ahead. I don't go want ahead. to influence you. <laughs> I don't want to influence you, my friend. <laughs> okay, I have good, good sound because I can hear some noises and some scenes. Mm -hmm. Location, I have excellent, great location. It was obvious that they spent some money on location and used some some really nice places. Um, scene progression, I have good. It was easy to follow the story from one thing to another. Difference between night and day, I have good. A few scenes actually stayed at the time of the day for the progression of scenes. So, for example, the court scene where the judge requested characters resume the court case on a specific day and time. Story itself, I have fair for Hollywood. If we're grading on a Hollywood basis, it's a D minus. If we're grading on a Nollywood basis, it's a B plus. Mm. So, 
For an Hollywood movie, this movie did very well. There were several twists and turns, like the synopsis stated. The conclusion, I have good. However, there was not a there was not a cliffhanger. All the loose ends were tied in the end, which means all the bad people got punished. Yeah. All the good people were all the good people received whatever it is that they wanted. Yeah. In they, the end, mm -hmm. you know. And then error con uh, corrected during the films, like I was said, like I said earlier. Sorry, um, some props like the mic lights were visible in part two. However, it was corrected and was no longer visible in the rest of the film. So makeup was good. There was nothing really standing out in the makeup. Everybody had, you know, okay, makeup suitable for African mm -hmm. um, television. The wardrobe was excellent. The pregnant people actually looked pregnant, which was cool. And that's a big deal in Nollywood. Most Nollywood movies, the pregnant people do not look pregnant. They look like they have a pillow tucked in their stomach, okay? So that was good. That was really good. Mm. Um, and like I said earlier, I did not like the fashion in which um, they brought up the subject about HIV. The importance of pre prevention or protection was not mentioned, mm. which is ultimately the most important. Prevention and protection, <coughs> they did not emphasize that at all. Mm. So, um... So do you want me to go into my award? Go ahead. Yours? Yeah, go, go ahead. ahead. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so for best actor performance, guess who gets that? Um, Sambo, I think so. For me. Yes. Sambo, oh, yeah. I'm yeah. sorry, Mr. Michelle. Yeah. Man, Paul Sambo was a yeah. point. He was I so good. I used to watch him he all the so time. Good. I mean, he really, his personality can. He was so believable. Yeah. His facial expressions match, you know, and that's really hard. I think a lot of the times, these are Nollywood actors who've been in movie upon movie upon movie upon movie forget that that their facial expression have to match their personality, have to match what they're they're playing, you know. And I feel like Paul Sambo, you know, when he was um. Advising Majid Michelle at his apartment, he spoke like he was for real. When he was in court fighting for, um, who, who was he, he was on the side of? Um, he was on the side of, or uh, always on the side of his friend. He, of his friend. Yeah, right, right, yeah, right. with different witnesses that he was questioning. Right, right. You know, and then yeah. you can hear so the he judge was, who says sustained, was, sustained. Right, right, right. right. Mm. So he was he was on the side of Dr. Jerry. Mm. Um. So I mean, he he really fought, and you would. I'm surprised. Yeah. I think if that case was in real life, mm. my dear Michelle would have probably won. I highly yeah. doubt yeah. that the person uh, who won would have won. I, I think I, he was so he was so persuasive. Well, we can say he stole the show. From. He really did. He yeah. the show from everybody. Yes, yes. He and he and Mercy Johnson yes. stole the show. So, so for best female performance, it definitely goes to Mercy Johnson. Yes, yes. Mercy's yes. crazy. Yes. She's just, she's just yes, a lovable yes. character. Yes, if she's yes. playing a twenty-two year old, she can actually pull yes. off a twenty-two year old character. Right, right, right. You she know, did, and she when did. she wore her wig, she looked older. When she took it off, she looked younger. Yes, yes. You know, which is really, really weird. But I just love that lady. She's she's a chameleon. Mm. She just does whatever it takes to get the story told. So, um, my my take on the underlining story in this film was evil people never go stop free, and the truth always re reveals itself in the end, no matter what. That was what I got from that. Yeah, but unfortunately, yeah. in real world, it does not happen that way. What? Well, not all the time, but yeah. most of the time it does. <laughs> yeah. So, for me, um, the general rating, I'm giving an overhaul rating for this movie because um, of the storyline, because mm -hmm. of the um, characters that uh -huh. uh, are very fantastic, fantastic characters. Right. Uh, so, right. I'm going to rate this movie three stars out of five three stars? yeah out of five yeah i enjoyed it 
but uh, somehow got lost in the middle part two and part three and then found part four interesting because there was a marriage it ended like what you said uh, the marriage of Paul Sambo, uh, uh, Barrister Desmond, and um, and um, Messi Johnson that act that played Serena. Did you watch that side? Did you see that? I did. I did watch yeah. it. I yeah. thought I was weak. Sorry. I I saw it, but I thought that was weak. Yeah, it was. It was because uh, Paul Sambo was also punished by divine powers. I don't know. You see, the, 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 this is. <laughs> this is the Nollywood yeah. style of writing. You must be punished by divine powers, you see. My rating, I repeat, is three stars. And you, finally, Rebecca, your general rating will be? It's gonna be three stars, too. Also, okay. Yes, yes. And the reason is because the story had twists and turns, but I think yeah. the end kind of let me down mm. a little. Like, I was expecting a more... Um, aggressive and you know part one and two were kind of fillers the story really started at the end of part two mm. part three and four really told that's where all the action was mm. you know so I was expecting that kind of power like a powerful ending to that mm. you know? mm. um, but it, I mean like I said it's good to see in a Nollywood movie that good people get good things, yes, you know, and, yes. and bad people get punished. But mm. I still felt like they could have been a lot more creative as to... Because, for example, when we when we saw On The Project, On The Project is actually already a hot story to tell. Because yeah. it's a taboo from the get-go. Yeah. So everything about that film, you're, you're kind of watching it with one eye open, you know? Yeah, yeah. But in a film like this where you're telling just a normal story, story yeah. you have to be, the, at least the beginning needs to be powerful, mm. the end needs to be powerful. Mm. And I felt like this, this story wasn't powerful both in the beginning and the end. So can we recommend this movie to our listeners? Of course, you gotta watch it. You know, we wanna know what you think. You know, this could be just us. You know, we are professionals in this. We watch Hollywood movies all the time. We, we are in the films. We're working, in, you know, promoting the films either in the background, on, on set. So we know what's going on in the film, but we wanna know what you, the audience, think about this film. Yeah. And then right. if, uh, if, if there's any director out there looking for someone to cast, do not forget Paul Sambo. He, he, yes. he is one of the best actors now highly in Nollywood. Highly recommended. Yeah. Highly recommended. Highly recommended. I want to see you in a lot more Nollywood movies. Yes. I love looking at your face on screen. You remind me of the early Van Dicker. So definitely, definitely. Producers, directors, cinematographers, look out for Paul Sambo. You got a diamond, for real. Paul Sambo is the man of uh, the naughty... Doctor, <laughs> you're listening to Nollywood Radio France, and I'm your host, Cyprian Johnson, and uh, Rebecca Monnier, my colleague, all the way from Houston, Texas. Uh, Rebecca Monnier is the director and uh, creator of Nollywood Spotlight. Rebecca, just give a word and give your the address of your website and who you are again to our listeners because more and more listeners are coming in so we will keep on introducing ourselves so that yeah. we will keep them and they will tell their <laughs> friends yeah <laughs> right. right absolutely and we definitely want to thank you for listening to Nollywood Spotlight Show on Nollywood Radio Prime we're here because of you we appreciate you invite your friends invite your brother your uncle your auntie um, go to www.nollywoodradiofront.com We upload on a regular basis brand new episodes of the show almost every single day. So you're able to get live recordings or um, pre-recorded recordings of our show. And of course you can always go to www.nollywoodspotlight.com I always post fresh blogs about what we talk about give you more in-depth insight on our discussions. So we appreciate you again. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye.